Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one today, which is another one from Trent Brewing Company, which I just reviewed previously as well. And this is their Fat Weasel Ale. Have not had this one before, but this is an American Amber Red Ale. This one comes in with a little bit of a kick at 7.1% ABV. So this one has turned it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get it open and get it into the glass. I was looking at the label and as you can see, not really too much with it. This was also another Trader Joe's pickup. All right, so there we go. We get it into the shaker glass now for something that's supposed to be an American Amber Red is pretty much lighter than what you would expect. It's actually down along the lines of what you would see usually like with a pale ale. I get it to the light, nice golden uh, color and you can really see a lot of that uh, carbonation taking place as it streams up towards the white head. I think you can see it a little bit, I'm trying to keep my hand steady. But yeah, it's got a lot of good bubble action taking place. The head itself is kind of a, well it was a two finger head, but it's kind of kind of breaking down a little bit now, getting a little bit of a rockiness to the top of it. Some good uh, big bubbles, little bubbles, all kinds of bubble action in place there. So see how long that lasts and see if it laces the glass. As far as on the aroma, I do get that sourness type smell from the yeast. Usually something I usually acquaint to more on a lager, but on this red ale, it does come off here. Tells me they may have used some adjuncts in there as well. You can definitely tell, I don't wanna say it's kind of towards that maybe lower end type beer, because it was a value beer. I forgot how much I paid, but it wasn't a ton for this bottle. It's kind of that malt liquor type smell some, which it shouldn't really be as much. I don't think, I think it's, um, I consider that more to the, the lager side and those other type beers, but it is what it is. It's definitely the malts that are coming through. Not really picking up much of the hops. IBU was not listed for this one. Yeah, but as it goes down, it's really more just dominated kind of by that uh, horse blanket smell. Now, as far as the taste, I do get a big amount of the uh, taste of the bitterness on the initial. On the back end, not as much, not as harsh going down, um, but you definitely do almost taste a little bit of kind of a alcoholic type taste on the back end. It's got a harshness of a malt liquor. It's got that, takes, it takes me back to high school and getting like a 40 of something. It's got that harshness in the uh, taste on this one. Just uh, not as appetizing on this one here. Um, now, if you're looking to get a quick buzz at 7.1%, it does help you out in that regard. So it's stronger than a lot of the other beers out there. I think individually this bottle was probably a dollar nine for a 12 ounce bottle. So it's not gonna set you back a lot. And if you're looking to get to that uh, place of being buzzed, it'll get you there. You can see some of the lacing taking place. So that's kind of a nice sight to see. So usually that indicates a well-crafted beer. It's actually not as watery. It's got some nice um, crispness to it. It's got some nice sturdy texture to it. Um, the carbonation is a little more over carbonated so I, that's one thing you do feel on the palate and the feel of it as I mentioned that harshness going down not really any astringency but you do get that bitterness kind of harshness as you drink it down and then you start to feel the carbonation as far as the body it sits as a medium to heavy body on the tongue and overall I'd actually give this one here a um, oof I'm gonna give it a two out of five. So that actually, <laughs> two out of five kind of puts it in that border of a C minus, D plus, you call it. Not very good overall. And if you've had this one before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. I'll finish this one out, but um, I'm gonna need another beer to actually get the taste out of my mouth. So Fat Weasel Ale, another one you can get at Trader Joe's. Put some comments in if you had it. But I appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. I look forward to catching you on the next one. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and as I said, comment, and keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.